the college football experience week 13 pregame show on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by bet three sixty five. Yes. Bet three sixty five is offering new users a thousand dollar risk free bet. Sign up today at sports gambling podcast.com slash bet three sixty five. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. Hey, folks, this is Bud Foster. You're listening to SGPN. Let's let it ride. Football experience week 13 pregame show. Are we really at week 13? I mean, the season is, is, is coming gone, but God damn it, let's enjoy today because the slate is fantastic. You see, when I start doing shit like this, Kramer always says, that means that's Dundee wagging his tail. Because that's that's the truth. You know I love rivalry games. I think that's what makes college football the greatest fucking sport on the planet. Is that uh, you get these old rivalries. You get the opportunity to fuck over someone's season. Uh, and we're sitting here with Ohio State, Michigan is what I'm referring to. That rivalry, the Governor's Cup, Kentucky, Louisville. I know we got some duds yesterday. Civil War didn't li- live up to what it was. Uh, some of the other matchups as well, but uh, hey, Iowa money line and Iowa under hit. Um, but just a slew of old school rivalries that go on, even on the mid major ranks. You know, ULM, Louisiana, Georgia Southern, App State. I fucking love this week. It used to be better, and I feel like the execs are trying to rip it apart. But God damn it, that's why I'm here. All right, <laughs> to, to tell to tell a hundred people that damn it. It ain't right what's going on, but we're going to talk all about it, folks. I'm in a fucking great mood. Hope you guys are too. Uh, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, my name is Colby Swinging Database Dan, aka Pick Dundee. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. Nobody knows nothing. Somebody knows. Double the price, but no one touches Dundee. Yeah, shout out to the chat. Dijon, is that the one? It might be the one. I'm probably butchering that. What's the lock? He says. Son of Pete's in there. Nothing better than, than going to bed with Dundee. <laughs> I mean, the show. The show. And waking up to Dundee. <laughs> Uh, Paul Buecher in the chat said, smash that like button for Mr. Dundee fellas. Nathan Haynes says, JMU bowl eligible. Make it happen. Folks. What a fucking, well, yeah, that's a storyline to watch too. As you know, it's the teams with five wins. So if you're a James, I'll just open up with that. Let's talk about that. If you are a JMU fan, Today you are rooting against UCF at that 9 a.m. kick. UCF could be bowl eligible with the win, uh, you know, on, at the moon bounce against Houston. They're laying like 15, 16 points. Um, personally, I think UC, UCF is probably going to win that game. There's only so many slots though. So uh, next up, I would say what five win teams. You're rooting for SMU to fuck up Navy. That would be a second team that could that could really ruin it. Uh, Northern Illinois against Kent State. That's I think that's almost likely though. I think UCF Northern Illinois is probably going to hit. That'd be two spots. Uh, Rice is another one against Florida Atlantic. That's that's what's fun and that and with the twelve team playoff, it's going to be so much fucking cooler because you have more games 
that have implications. But uh, if yeah, if you're a JMU fan, you're rooting for those. I would say, uh, well, obviously you want to beat Coastal Carolina again. You know, JMU. That's their final game of the regular season in Conway, South Carolina. <laughs> Chat. Shout out to uh, and I love Dylan asking about you you uh, UMass UConn. We'll get to that. Um, uh, I believe Marshall Arkansas State would be another Virginia Tech Virginia Virginia Tech is on that fifth win. If they win in Charlottesville, that would be six. Um, and I believe Minnesota against Wisconsin. You're rooting for Wisconsin if you're a JMU fan. And you are also rooting for Florida State to beat Florida. You can have like I think you can have like seven or eight of these hit. I think it, after that it's where it gets really dicey as far as uh, you know the way things could shake out. I also believe there's a few other Colorado State on the island against Hawaii. Also Cal against UCLA. All those ones pivotal uh, regarding and Clemson, South Carolina as well. I think I covered them all. Uh, but yeah, if you're a JMU fan, pay attention to that folks. We got the biggest game of the day, arguably Ohio state, Michigan, 9 AM. The line has dropped to half a point overnight. It's fluctuated back and forth between three, three and a half. Um, I'm going to lock up Michigan minus three. I'm, I, and you hear this talk about Ryan Day to A and M. Who knows how true that is? But I think Michigan is the more complete team. Uh, I, if it's three and a half, I wouldn't bet it. Three, I think you're either going to push or win. So I am going with uh, with the Wolverines there. Uh, I also placed this bet earlier in the week at, with the hook. I think they're even baiting you. I think Louisville. There's talk about Mark Stoops going to Texas A&M too. You got to wonder about the distractions with Kentucky. I also think Jeff Brown. It is fucking personal. He's a Louisville Cardinal through and through, and I'm talking about the city as well. They've been been getting their ass kicked by Kentucky lately. I think five of the last six. Jeff Brown. It's gonna fuck up Kentucky today. I think I'm laying the seven and a half. Let's go. Uh, I want to address uh, Jim Gray in the chat. First off, great reporting. Always enjoyed your Mike Tyson interviews. Uh, actually, I think I can actually. Uh, I think I have Jim Gray on the soundboard. Where the hell are we here? It's somewhere here. Somewhere here is Jim Gray. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or or well, what portion? Spinal. <laughs> um, I completely, this is the, uh, what do they call this again? It's not a hundred miles of hate deeper than hate rivalry app state, Georgia, Southern Southern's getting nine and a half. I think it is currently and a chance to fuck over app states appearance to play in the Sunbelt championship. Love this spot. I, I like riding the money line too. I like riding both sprinkle both. Uh, so let's go with those Eagles on the road there in Boone. Uh, other games of note for me, by the way, I lost on Akron over two wins. They're up 14, three, two and a half wins didn't hit, but I am sweating out Sam Houston state. I have the over two and a half wins on Sam Houston state. They're home to middle Tennessee today. They're catching three and a half. I'm riding the three and a half. I'm riding the plus plus one forty. Cause I think all of those are going to fucking hit today. Let's go. Shout out to Chris Ramsey says, uh, first time, first time getting in here live. Appreciate you. Check us out and shout out to Gator nation 2.0. And let's talk about that one because I believe I've already placed this bet. I believe the Florida Gators are going bowling today. I got them knocking off the Seminoles plus 200 in the swamp. Billy Napier gets to another bowl game. He can exhale as he moves into year three. 
You got to win this one today. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Um, Johnny Boy's asking any chance the line goes to seven for Indiana Purdue. You know, this line has really risen to this was three earlier in the week at seven. I mean, even at six and a half, I think I go Indiana. I think at three, when we caught it on Wednesday, I went Purdue, but a, if you're watching this game, you're fantastic because, because I mean, how about the slate right now? You got the FCS playoffs going by the way, lock up Delaware minus seven against Lafayette. Thank me later. Um, how about how about the slate this morning though? You get the governor's cup in Ohio state, and Michigan going on at the same time. Fucking phenomenal. Uh, UConn UMass, the chat was asking for it. <laughs> I actually think it's a hard game to cap. Both teams are, uh, <laughs> how do I say this? I want to say great defensive team, defensive minded teams. I think by this game being in Amherst, I would favor UMass, but I'll be honest. I think UConn has been playing better ball over the past two or three weeks. If that makes sense. Uh, I'll tell you this, the lock in this game. If you're going to bet this game is the under last year, it was just 27 to 10 and UConn's offense was a lot better last year. I think both defenses are in decent shape. I will lock up the under in UConn and UMass. You don't always hear me talking totals. Jump it in here. Shout out to the cracky, the cocaine bear in the chat. Joey Hines uh, thoughts on the over in the Ohio state, Michigan game. I think I would take the over if I was forced to take the over or under. 46 and a half. Everyone's counting on this being a defensive game and it probably will be a defensive game, but let me think about this. If it's 28, 24, you're good. But 21, 17. Ah, man. I feel like that number's kind of right on it. Uh, give me the over. Give me the over. I don't feel good about it though. I'd rather bet Michigan minus three. What up to Charles Walker in the chat? Appreciate you. Johnny boy too. Uh, I don't know where Terrell's at. We'll find out. We'll have to find out where Terrell's at. Um, Wildebeest thinks Ohio state is winning. I mean, I'm all, I, I could see it. I mean, Ohio state probably has more talent, but, uh, I think Michigan is the more complete team, if that makes sense. So I think uh, I, I touched on this a little bit on the basketball show last night because Noah being such a big uh, Michigan fan, and I think McCarthy is the more consistent quarterback. He's he's the one that I'd rather place the bet on than McCord. I think it's like more likely for McCord to make mistakes in this game than McCarthy. That's not saying McCarthy can't. But I think that the fact it's in Ann Arbor, and I actually think that's the key to the game. I think Michigan's beat them on the line of scrimmage the past two years. And as you, as a result, you've seen Ohio state load up on the defensive side and they're playing great defense this year with Jim Knowles. I think the key to Michigan winning this year is zigging when they zag. So they're, they're expecting this ground and pound and, and Michigan, that's still their game. But I think McCarthy in the air is the ticket to Michigan winning today. So, uh, yeah, I, I laid the three. So shout out to Joey Hines says he loves the show. Appreciate you, Joey. Um, let's talk about this. Any good three leg parlays for the noon game. Okay. Or noon slate. I love Louisville minus the points against Kentucky. I think Kentucky's complete shit this year. I think the fact they're in a bowl game is complete nonsense. All right. Their only good win is against Florida. Um, I think Brom, the Brom, like I've, I've mentioned this man, like his family's from Louisville, Kentucky. His dad's a high school coaching legend there. He played at Louisville. Uh, I think, you know, even when you're coaching Purdue or whatever, when it's a, your alma mater, 
you know that that Kentucky's been fucking you up over the past four or five years. I think Brom puts it on Kentucky today. And I think the main reason why is you got stoops potentially to AM going on, distractions everywhere. I like this spot for for the cards. So that would be one leg for the 9 a.m. parlay. I'm gonna say you parlay the under in Yukon UMass. 51 and a half. Um third leg of the parlay that I think would make the most sense. I mean, if you want to stay away from the Michigan game, because I think that's an, a decent shot there, is taking Michigan minus three. Um, would probably be if you're gonna stay away from that. Give me Sam Houston. The other ones are too risky. Maybe Southern Miss. They extended Will Hall for another year. Maybe the players are happy about that. Maybe Navy, but I think SMU knows they win that. They're in the AAC championship, so it makes it a dangerous game. But Navy historically has kept it really close. If not, you know, I think they've beaten SMU more times than not over the past 15 years. Uh, I was going to say AM against LSU, but AM with Stewart and everybody, I don't know if AM is getting up for this game. Um, so I would say out of your 9 a.m. games, give me the, the under UConn UMass. Give me Louisville. And I would either go Michigan or Sam Houston State. It's not a crazy thought to go Pitt, though. Pitt plus four and a half at Duke. Narduzzi's never lost to Duke. So not bad. Um, can anyone explain? Uh, I got you. I got you, Alfred. Uh, you're regarding. So he's talking about the wake forest, Syracuse line. This is a uh, 9 AM kick too. the reason why I believe it went from three and a half to, to two is Garrett Schrader. The starting quarterback is questionable. And as we know, Dino Babers was fired. So I think it just makes this game hard to handicap Syracuse. Another one, by the way, if you're a JMU fan, if they win, they're going to a bowl. Um. I think that's, that's kind of one there that uh, I, I just can't touch it. I think Syracuse is the right side, but I'm not, I'm not touching it. Yeah. That's a good point. Was it Syracuse plus was it Syracuse minus three earlier in the week? It was, I think it was Syracuse plus three. Um, uh, Jay Raider is asking about Miami, Ohio. Uh, that game's a little tricky because what Miami, Ohio, uh, Ball State. Ah, uh, I mean, Miami, Ohio won by one a year ago, but that Ball State team was completely different. I do think it's going to be a closer game. Ah, oh, man, I think I actually lean to taking the points. I think I lean to taking the points. It's in Muncie. Miami, Ohio wins ugly. They're on their backup quarterback Gabbert's out for the year. I would take the points I think in, in, in ball state. So that I don't feel great about that play, but give me ball state, uh, other big time games and, and, and feel free folks. If you, if you want to know about the, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bet Sam Houston, like every week, Jim. So I know that I know that pain. Uh, any, any games, feel free to, to, you know, throw them in the chat. We'll talk about them. Anyone else make this bet as bad as me? Yeah. I took Texas tech too, buddy happens. That was, they didn't show up. I mean, shout out to shout out to Texas. That was the most impressive win short of the Alabama game. And yeah, <laughs> I ate a bundle of shit with that. Um, should you throw LSU in the parlay? I don't know, man. I, I know they have the, the, the highs of an angle thing. I'd stay away. I'd stay away. Cause historically a and M is kind of fucked with LSU. So uh, let's jump down and talk about. So look, there we go. Shout out to this uh, a round Robin here. Shall we do a round Robin here? Money line round robin. Let's let's have fun with this here. I think there's value. Um, 
I would say one that jumps to mind right now. Money line round Robin is Florida. Florida would be one. Oh man. Georgia Southern would be two. Arizona state would be three. Remember Oregon clinched yesterday in the civil war. Arizona's got nothing to play for, but just to play and Kenny Dillingham and Arizona state. They're starting Jaden Rashada, the, the big time freshman that, you know, was looked good earlier in the year, but he was, was been injured. I think ASU is live in Tempe. Those are three on the round Robin. I don't know if you want to add a fourth, but uh, I, I already bet the shit out of Arizona state and all, I bet, I bet all of those teams solo. Let's, let's do it on a round Robin. I also, I mean, if you want to get crazy, there's something about the iron bowl on the plains where I don't care who's on Auburn. You look at Alabama's track record over the past 20 years in at Auburn, they struggle and it doesn't matter who the coach is or the roster is Brian Harson and a terrible Auburn team two years ago. Sh- pushed Alabama to overtime and actually should have won the game. Bryce Young went like 97 yards in the final minute to push it to overtime. I'm all over Auburn plus the points here. I sprinkled a little bit on the money line just because these games are fucking insane. I can't wait to watch this game. Um, I know Auburn sucks, but still, it, these games are fucking insane. They're insane. Uh, and I like the fact they lost to New Mexico State last week, personally. I think that only helps Auburn's chances. Jacksonville State, New Mexico State. This game's low key awesome. You want to, you know, you want to know like my favorite low key game of the day. Jacksonville State's not eligible to play in the Conference USA Championship, or they might. This game would probably dictate that. They're heading to Las Cruces to take on New Mexico State, who just beat Auburn. Jerry Kill doing an unbelievable job. I think both coaches are great. I think both coaches should be at higher jobs, but I'm glad they're at where they are because I appreciate the G five and uh, I'm fascinated by watching this game. Jacksonville state's a road favorite. Now I think that's probably from a motivational standpoint, New Mexico state let down opportunity because he just knocked off an sec team for the first time ever. And at the same time, Jacksonville state's going to treat this like the CUSA championship because they're not eligible to play in the CUSA championship for some stupid fucking reasons. So. This game's low key awesome. However, I will take New Mexico State because I think they're going to be able to bottle up that run some. But I'm just fascinated by watching this one. You know, this is like one of the better games today. Um, I know the chat talked about this before with Oklahoma State. If they win, they clinch the Big 12 championship, which they would play the Texas Longhorns. Mike Gundy has a great track record of fucking up Texas. The lines dropped some. It was at 17, 17 and a half. Uh, now it's at 16, 16 and a half. I still say Oklahoma State wins, but I don't think they're just going to blow out BYU. Give me BYU in the points. Uh, I think, I think BYU, they're not a team to just pack it in and quit. So I think they show up. Oklahoma State probably still wins this game, maybe even by double digits, but it's just a lot of points. A lot of points for 30 year old people. So, uh, Shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Adam Hurley says I'll bet you hang your posters with snot. Uh, really? Can't say that I've done that. Not opposed to doing it if uh, push comes to shove. Haven't done it yet though, and uh, appreciate you adding this uh, this to the chat. You know what I mean? Haven't thought about snot posters ever. So I'm grateful that you took my fucking brain there. Um. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, Kentucky, Louisville, already already getting into it. That game's awesome, awesome. Uh, that that let's talk about Jim. I like Wazoo plus the point today too. Oh, look what we got here on the grounds. Hey, on the ground. Just got what out of traffic. Holiday season, how's every 107 people? <laughs> I hope there's some likes in there. 
people were asking about you say, where are you at? I said, man, it's the holidays. He's got some turducken in him from he's been shopping. You know what I mean? He's been doing everything, but uh, hey, delay, but not denied. Delay, <laughs> but not denied. Folks, give it up for Terrell Furman Jr. Look, we were talking about some really, some really juicy spots today. I think mm-hmm. Kentucky, Louisville, they're already fighting at midfield and pregame. I think Louisville's gonna fuck yes. them up today. Fight, yeah. fight. Did yeah. you see the? Did you see the? Uh, what was yeah. it? Jacksonville. What was it? Jacksonville, Jacksonville yeah. fight yesterday. Yes, yes, fight. We love it in college hey, football. Hey, low key, low key. The books haven't adjusted to Jacksonville having half their team suspended today. Fade them, fade them right now. Take uh, who the fuck are they playing again? In college basketball, they are playing. They're in Pittsburgh. I forget who who the fuck are they playing again? Uh, it's not Robert Morris. Hold on. This game already tipped. No, they are playing. Where are we there that you guys got to load up on, on whoever they're playing. I'm drawing a blank. I've already bet them, but I'm just fucking stupid right now. Oh, fairly Dickinson who beat Purdue last year in in the NCAA tournament. Take fairly Dickinson. Jacksonville's only got like six guys load up, load up. Let's go. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, anyway, what do you make of this Louisville, uh, Louisville, Kentucky game? I'm all over Louisville. I think that, you know, this is not only, you know, the fight aspect. You know, I'm I'm good for a good fight. I got to go check the game film and, and make sure that Louisville was on the right side of that win there. But, no, I really, I really think that this is just a fade of Nick Leary for me and this Kentucky team. Like, I just don't think they're good at all. And this is now Louisville last game of the season. This is a chance to beat up on Kentucky, who's really, really like, – what's the, se- the series matchup? Like, what's – the back and forth. Yeah. Well, Kentucky has fucked them up lately. I think they've won five yeah. or six. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could have sworn that it was Kentucky, all Kentucky lately. Like when you finally have that team, when you're a rival, when you're a rival playing these sports and you finally have that team, think of North Carolina Central finally beating A&T after all those years. It was so happy for them. Think of that's what it is for yeah. Louisville now. They're finally getting that chance. I'm all over Louisville today. I locked up Louisville. Yeah, I love it too, man. Jeff Brown, like I said, he's raised in Louisville, Kentucky. His dad coached high school. Like, and, and folks, if you don't know, after the the games in Louisville, Brown is like with his boys in a in a section, drinking with his boys. So like, this is like this is his life. You know what I mean? Like this, he's not gonna like. I think he's had this one circled all year. Uh-huh. So especially that 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 it's at the shack. I think they're gonna fuck up Kentucky. Uh. Some of the other big ones, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan uh, lay in three. I went with Michigan. I'm curious what you did here. Oh, lock up the Michigan Wolverines today. Yes, yes, lock them up. Yes, lock up the Michigan. It, it, lock hey it up. Man, What's that? It would have been Ohio State if they didn't mess with Jim Harbaugh. You, he was able to coach all week up until the game. Do you think? He did not come up with a perfect game plan. Yeah. Yeah. To lose his game now. Yeah. Yeah. Of all times. No, he's going out there to prove my team don't need me. We can still beat Ohio state. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, Big game in the big 12 BYU getting 16 and a half. This lines came down a little bit, but if Oklahoma state wins, they're in. I took BYU in the points. I still think Oklahoma State's going to win and set up a Oklahoma State Texas Big Twelve Championship, but I do think OK State wins. I don't know, 31, 21, 28, 16. I don't know some shit like that. I think it's just a little bit too many points. Uh, what are you doing here? Who's starting at quarterback for BYU? Did you get any news of that? Slovis is questionable, which means he's out for the season. Cause he's a fucking heat that motherfucker. The wind blows and he's like, you know what? My arm hurts. Uh, say, no way. No uh, way. He's playing. Yeah. yeah. I'm taking okay state. Still going. Okay. State. Yeah. The back. Oh. Sucks, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm still going to take the points just cause I feel like BYU still plays hard for, you know, you want one of my upset specials of the day here. We got the dust bowl, AKA the territorial cup, Arizona, Arizona state. So Arizona can't make the Pac-12 championship anymore because Oregon won. Mm-hmm. I've been riding Arizona for like five, six straight weeks, but this is the, what do they have to gain here? 
Arizona State has everything the game. It's in Tempe. They're starting Jaden Rashada. I think Arizona State plus 13 is a lock. I also have sprinkled that plus 400. Kenny Dillingham, ASU grad. He's made it chippy with Arizona in the, uh, you know, in his, what, eight months as a head coach. He's tweeted a few things, talking some shit about Arizona. Mm -hmm. I'm all over this. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm on Arizona State as well. The, the, and what's Arizona State? What's their win loss? Uh, well, I mean, they're three and eight, but they've gotten better as the season's yeah. gone along. Yeah. yeah. And, and so that, but the three and eight and the fact that they didn't have a good season, this is a chance to finally put that exclamation point on Arizona who actually, you know, had a great season this year. They're going bowling. Yeah. They, you know, ranked in the top 25 this year. They had all these opportunities. I think it's the, you know, this is the week where the impossible happens. This is the week where you have those 13, 14, 15 point dogs that come out their last game of the season and get a dub. And so, yeah, I'm with you. I'm all over Arizona state here. I, I say we sprinkle on the money line For plus 400. I'm all over it. Let's go. Uh, Commonwealth cup going on today. I, I look I, I suspect that's why you're in your car. You're in the, you're in route to Charlottesville. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got so something you're gonna hit on one of these. This is Patty C's loving this. Hey, Virginia Tech over five and a half wins will cash if the Hokies win. If Virginia wins over three and a half cashes, one's not gonna hit. The other's gonna hit. Uh, I personally think Hokies get it done. I'm laying the one and a half in Charlottesville. What are you doing here? Uh I hate this year. Are you jinxing us? Are you jinxing us here? Are you jinxing the Hokies here? Is that what your plan is? So that you can go out here and you can say, oh, the Hokies lost to a Virginia team. That sucks. But at least you got the over Perfect Virginia. spot for me. Perfect what? spot in a way. And Either way, over JMU if they win. I'm not betting this game because I have a lot on these already. And I would just like to go ahead and push my one and one and be happy. But. You know I'm going hoagies, man. Come on now. They dominate this team. They're way better than this team. Way, way. Yeah. Drones? Drones? Yeah. Way better. Those freaking weird UVA cats over there in Charlottesville and all the pitchforks and stuff. Like, no. We hate we hate UVA around here. Hoagies all day. I mean, ugh. and college uh what's my guy? College football campus tour. He's yes. not going to be in. He's not in Charlottesville this time. Hey, he's not. He's not saving you this time. <laughs> he's not saving you this time. Shout out to Michael Barker, aka College Football Campus Tour. If you don't follow him, folks, you're missing out. We have also. Uh, I know you spend a lot of a lot of time in the great state of North Carolina. The Tar Heels are laying two and a half in Raleigh against Brennan Brennan Armstrong, who looked like fucking. He looked like Steve Young last week. Oh my uh, gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He literally. Like whether it's a ten yard run, a twenty yard run, a thirty yard run, a ten yard pass, twenty yard pass, thirty yard pass, you get a pass, you get a pass, you get a pass. Brandon Armstrong had it. Hey, Brandon Armstrong, that was his best game of his career. And this is the final game of his career, potentially. Are they live in Raleigh plus one twenty five? I don't think so. These games are always fucking insane. Well, I feel like it was wasn't last year thirty to twenty seven NC State won. Man, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would take the points, but this is this is one of these games. It's like a flip a coin game to me. I feel like this is a field goal game. There's a hot, whoever if, gets the ball last wins. Yeah, I feel like if you could find a prop for overtime, fucking jump in on this game going to overtime. And wait, just wait for whoever goes up first. I think this is a game of whoever goes up first. Maybe they go up by one score. Maybe you wait a little bit longer and you get two scores. And if you can get a touchdown or more on either side, take it. Yeah. Chat's asking about Kansas laying seven at Cincinnati. Lay it. Cincinnati's fucking ass. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing here? Yeah. I don't even know who's starting that quarterback. Take it. Lay yeah. It. I mean, Kansas, they say Bean, I think Bean's going to play today. From I what mean, I read, it's Bean, whether yeah. it's Daniels, like either one of them are light years ahead of what Cincinnati. We just got to admit that Cincinnati had a down year, man. And, you know, it was it. The Big 12 looked really, really good when Luke Fickle was your head coach. Now, yeah. 
And they hired know. Satterfield, which was just the strangest fucking hire. I think of the, the whole weirdest season. hire. Yeah. He was about to get fired and they're like, Hey, Louisville, here's $8 million. We want to buy your coach from you. Sure. Louisville's like, uh, Thank you. okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Like, Thank yeah. You. Appreciate it. <laughs> Um, we got farm again today. Iowa State, Kansas <laughs> State. Somebody buying something you don't want. Oh gosh, darn it! <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted that coach. I mean, I guess you could have them. No, it's like it's like you're about to throw out something in your house, and you're walking it to the street to throw it out, and someone drives up in the car and goes, "Hey, that's a fucking beautiful piece of shit. You know, beautiful thing you got those there." Guys that just yeah. roll around and pick up those <laughs> metal pieces of metal. Roll around yeah. picking up pieces yeah. of metal. They'd be like, hey, 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 what you doing with that old microwave? Let yeah, we'll, we'll, hey, we'll hey, give hey, you. Hey, let me get that. We'll give you five right. grand for that. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's All go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Gator Nation's asking, what is the best lock of the day you would put $500 or more on? That means he's definitely going to be betting uh, a, a serious chunk of money on this. My favorite lock of the day. I mean, I I, I think Auburn's going to cover against Bama at fourteen. If you can get fourteen and a half, I think that's really good. But I, I I'm kind of high on the Arizona State play. I think that's one of my favorite plays. I also think uh, I think Georgia Southern's going to cover that big number. In they're getting ten now in Boone. So like to me, Louisville would be up there for one of my favorite plays of the day. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work this out while we're talking about it. Um, Georgia Southern plus 10 at app Arizona state. What I love about Arizona state's angle is they're at home. The, some of these other ones are on the road. Louisville's at home too. So I, I kind of love that. Uh, Auburn, like I said, if you can get the third, if you can get the hook, kind of love it. What do you make of the Apple Cup? Washington State covering that? 15 the there? 15? Yeah. Yeah, I think Washington State can cover that, especially, you know, you think about Washington State and that defense. I think that they don't get enough credit. And, it, and it's really Cam Ward. And what can they get from Cam Ward in this offense? Because when that defense is actually like, not been out there every like the offense is struggling, the defense is rolling out of there every two seconds. Like that's when that defense is really starting to get tired. When Cam Ward has been really, really methodical with the football, he's been able to drive the football down the field, eat up some clock. That defense has looked really good. So I think at, uh, Washington State actually doesn't get enough credit, and this is way, way too many points. Uh, I wouldn't say that's my favorite lock. I like Arizona State more than Washington State, but they're pr- I say parlay both and row robin both. Yeah, I also like. Uh, like San Diego State, Brady Hoax retiring. It's his final game, but it's not like this guy's a fucking coaching legend at San Diego State. Fresno coming off that upset loss to New Mexico. I think Fresno's going to go down to the snapper. No one's going to be at this game. Lay the five with Fresno at San Diego State. That's another one that's pretty high on my list. I know I gave you five. I think if I, ha- I think I'm with Terrell here, I think I would probably go Arizona State, one of the home teams. To a me, like. A yeah. home dog last game of the season versus the rival. It just it's too good to pass up. Yeah, I I think that's probably the safest bet is probably Arizona State. Maybe uh maybe Louisville, even though they're not a dog, but mm-hmm. those are the ones that I like a lot. Um some other big games going on. Farmageddon, Iowa State, Kansas State, Kansas State's laying laying ten. <laughs> I'm gonna lay the ten. Even though we know K State was hoping Texas lost, so then they would have a chance to play for the Big Twelve Championship. It didn't happen. Texas just fucking destroyed Texas Tech. Uh what's that JMU I, line? JMU, I think that line has moved a lot, by the way. I think JMU last I saw, so they're laying eight right now against Coastal Carolina. At Coastal Carolina, I do think Jamie is going to bounce back, and and I, I know McCall's still out. I'm gonna see. My thing is, I can still see this as a touchdown game, but I'm still going to lay it. I'm going to lay it with Jamie. What are you doing here? Yeah, I think you have to because this is like JMU kind of f you to everybody, and honestly, there's a there's a JMU parlay 
where you say they're going to make a bowl game because there's not going to be enough teams? Yeah. That are 6-6? Yeah. Six six? Because I believe the parameters is if there's not enough 6-6. Six six. Yeah. I was... Uh... I was I was talking about that like the teams they need to lose. By the way, shout out to Myron Kid. He says if you don't live in VA, hit that UVA money line play. <laughs> I think you're breaking up a little bit there, Terrell. Um, <laughs> uh, shout out to Cole because don't <laughs> fuck me today, Colby. Uh, on the bet on the betting front, that is. Um, uh, what game did you go with, Kolb? Let us know. We got a huge one going on in the Mountain West. San Jose State, UNLV, both teams red hot. Can't believe it's on the Mountain West network. I mean, luckily we get that at the studio. But if you're Joe Schmo out there, good luck. Um, I'm actually on Sparty, but Coke Booger knows that uh, I've been fading UNLV all year. So that's been uh. Both these teams have been very, very hot lately. But UNLV's OC interviewed for uh, U- the uh, San Diego State job. Buddy, I'm getting some crazy static. I'm getting some crazy oh, static. Who are you taking in that San Jose State UNLV game? Oh, I'm. Uh, what's what's the line again? UNLV minus one and a half. Ugh. Both teams are real red hot. If anything, I think San Jose State actually has the longer win streak. But yeah, um, I went Sparty, but I think that's a that's a compelling game. You know? Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna roll with UNLV at home. Yeah, I mean, both teams have been a pleasant surprise there in the Mountain West. I got kicked uh, out because somebody came in here talking about those uh, who's take the who's today. <laughs> Myron Kidd, we're talking about who, here. Who? <laughs> Got the Commonwealth Cup, folks. Everything at stake. All right. Um, what about the worst <laughs> thing they could do is? Well, I'm glad they can't tie because, man. <laughs> yeah. What about Wisconsin, Minnesota? Minnesota has an opportunity playing for a bowl game. They're a home dog, getting three. Mm-hmm. I'm all over PJ Fleck getting Minnesota back to a bowl game by winning this game here. I'm not, you know, this game is going to be boring as fuck, but uh, you know, I love that. I love a good boring football game and uh, give me, give me the Gophers plus plus one twenty five on the money line as well. What are you doing here? Nope. Taking, uh, I'm taking Wisconsin. I'm fading everybody who hasn't qualified for a bowl because <laughs> JMU deserves to make a bowl and the football guys are going to make it. So by folding everybody else and allowing <laughs> JMU to sneak in. So it, it it's all gonna align, so no, I'm taking Wisconsin. Screw them. All right, then. Let, how about this barn burner? Maryland's laying two at Rutgers. Both are already bowl eligible. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rutgers is gonna win. Give me that plus. What is it? One fifteen with the Scarlet Knights at home. There, as they get their seventh win of the season. The winner will have seven wins. And if it's Rutgers, that's like throw a fucking parade. Uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm with Rutgers here. I'm back in the Golden Guido. Uh, get it done here. I think that this is a really good season for Rutgers in the fact that they cashed their win total early on in the season. They were a lot better. They're going bowling. Like, this is, it feels like the cap. I, I do like Rutgers. I was actually, why are we not locking this up? I'm in. Let's go. Fade Loxley. Yeah. Fade Loxley. Give me the Scarlet it's Knights. Loxley. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we got a couple other. Well, first off, Tulsa is going to Greenville, North Carolina. ECU is uh, laying three. We believe in the virus, in the of ECU. I'm just assuming the world has already <laughs> bet that Texas A&M is getting 13 at LSU right now. I had a hard time with this game. Both teams necessarily aren't playing for anything. I mean, I guess you have the Heisman angle for 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 Daniels, but I took the points. But just because A and M historically has given LSU fits, but I don't know. I'm all over the place on this one. What are you doing here? Yeah, it, 
does LSU just lay down in the season? But AM could lay down too. I mean, Evan Stewart, he's not even playing. I don't. <sighs> is it? Is it a? It, These these Daniels are the games. Is still, Daniels is still in the if the Heisman race somewhat, so I'll take LSU, but I, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. Uh, Colorado, Utah, Dion, Coach Prime. I think Shador Sanders is a uh, is questionable. I'm gonna go ahead and say, if he is not playing, Utah is the biggest lock of the day. Uh, if he is playing. I would consider <laughs> Utah still being one of the biggest. Locks. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Matter of fact, so, where's the guy that was talking about that $500? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it right there. That might be that it. Might be I, right that there. might be a solid play too. I, yeah. I'll lock up the Utes against my boys playing 20 and a half. Fuck. Let's go. Uh, it's rice Eccles, man. Uh, Vanderbilt, Tennessee, Tennessee's laying 27. Don't bet this game. What are you taking here? Are you laying it with Tennessee? What? 27 with Tennessee? <laughs> do you know who I am? I hate bad quarterback play. I do. I the, hate bad quarterback play. The chat is, is cracking me up. It says if you're doing a podcast from your car, are you in trouble for something? <laughs> hey man, look, yo, it's the holidays. <laughs> Family is everywhere. I had to find some way to get away from these kids. I yeah, had to yeah. find some way to get away from them kids. <laughs> and you know what? This is all I could do. This is hey, all I could do. I once did a fantasy. People don't know about the struggle because uh they have cell phones. I once did a fantasy draft from a fucking phone booth. In, in Virginia, all right. Holy yeah, crap. yeah. The year was the it was mid nineties. It was pre. All you had was a beeper. All right, you didn't have the, you didn't have the cell phone, so you couldn't you couldn't just say, "Hey, give me this guy." So you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta just make make it work. Yeah, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> next up, let's go over to. Uh, I mean, Florida's gonna win today against Florida State. You know that, right? Grammars. He's out. Addition by subtraction. He separated <laughs> his shoulder last week. And guess what? When he separated his shoulder, Florida almost beat Missouri because the backup, what the fuck was his name again? Uh, the backup looked pretty decent. I forgot about that. Where, where am I, I at forgot, here? I, I forgot to happen. Where's his name? Where's his name? I'm trying to find it right now. Why am I drawing a blank on this shit? Uh, yes, I'm talking about Max Brown. Max Brown and the Gators are live in the swamp. Who are you taking? Six, they're getting six and a half. Any news on Travis? He's out for the season, buddy. So you got Battle Rotor Baker. Quarterback. Six and a half. Is Dude. the rest of Florida State good enough? Florida is going you know to what? beat them. You know what? Florida State wins in overtime by three. I'm on, I'm on the Gators. Gator, Gator, Gator. Terry Tio in the chat says, "Great show, but should I lay it with twenty and a half in Northern Illinois against Kent State?" Oh my gosh! The level of DJ on this on this question. What? Fucking hilarious. Uh, no. Geez, can- that's no. a lot of points. No. They won by 18 a year ago. Or no, two no. years ago. Kent State is really bad though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. 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 I'll take the points. Don't bet this game, Terry. Why are you betting <laughs> this game? Are you going to this fucking game, Terry? The only logical, the only logical play is like you're going to the game. He's you're like, fuck it. Game. I He's want some action game. on this. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nathan Haynes in the chat said, Kent State money line. Let's go. Nathan as well. <laughs> uh, the chat's cracking me up right now. Anyway, we got a few other ones uh, that I want to key in on. I think we should bet Marshall today. Even though Arkansas State scored 77 points last week, now they're going to head to cold ass Huntington, West Virginia. Marshall's laying two, 
and Marshall's playing for a bowl berth. I know you want to fade all these bowl berth teams, but I think Marshall will be bowling. I'm laying the two with the thundering herd, and I've already bet this game. What are you doing here? Uh oh. I think we lost him. Shout out to Robert in the chat, Robert Goldsmith. Uh he's asking about this wake stare. He's get- I What's will up? lay the two with Marshall. That's all I wanted to say. Unfortunately, I'll okay. lay the two with Marshall. Wake Forest Syracuse is what Robert Goldsmith is uh talking about here. One of the hardest games to cap today. Because you got what Wake is going with their backup quarterback. Syracuse doesn't have their head coach, and their starting quarterback is questionable. <laughs> Even crazier, Syracuse backup quarterback is questionable. So you could see the third string quarterback. Syracuse, if they win, they're bowling. It's at that nope. filthy carrier dome. I guess I'll take Syracuse, but I, this is literally pissing in the wind. Uh, what are you doing here? Give me the demon digs to get it done. Fayton, all the bowl elves, all culture bowl play, elves. culture play. Um, yep. We 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 trust Clawson. That's it. That's all it is. We trust Clawson. I do love. Yeah, he's a fantastic coach. Northwestern Illinois is a big time game. Illinois uh, looking to get bowl eligible. I'm with you on this play. I think Northwestern is getting too many points. They're getting six and a half. I think they're alive to win at plus two hundred as well. That would be their seventh win of the season. If so, give me Northwestern and the points. What do you make of this one? Yeah, I'm. A, I mean, that, I had Northwestern before I even knew I was being petty and fate in all of the bowl, you know, almost bowl eligible teams. Like, I'm, I'm with you there. I think this Northwestern team, re- like, this is how you rebound from the off season they had. This is the type of season that you have to rebound and you get yourself back bowl eligible. You have a great year, whereas you're looking on the other side of the ball and I don't know what's going on. I'm all over Northwestern getting done here. Yeah, yeah. Myron Kidd saying JMU fans are gonna be rooting against all the five and six teams today: Virginia Tech, Florida, Syracuse, Illinois, UCF. We were going through yep. them at uh, the beginning of the show. South well, Carolina is another for one. Most of them, I guess, most of them. Yeah, shout out to Dick Gersberger. Uh, likewise, Dick, appreciate you, man. I we we appreciate you being here, man. Uh, uh, Richard, do you actually go by Dick? Uh, I, I mean, I've I think been trying it, to meet a Richard that went by Dick for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think he used to be Dick Gersberger in the chat, right? Now it's Richard Gersberger. I don't fucking remember. Um, Cal UCLA. Cal's getting nine. This is another one. JMU fans rooting for UCLA. Yep. I think Cal's covering that nine, though. This is, this is a fuck you game. Yeah. Seven point game a year ago. I think Cal's better this year than a year ago. I think UCLA is worse. Give me the points. I love that Fresno play, by the way, too, folks. Get on, get on that. West Virginia's laying eleven and a half against Baylor. Did we lose Terrell? I think we might have lost Terrell. Uh, I'm laying the eleven and a half. Baylor's uh, Baylor. Well, talk about a team that I thought would be a lot better this year. Baylor's one of the b- bigger surprises or biggest biggest disappointments, I would say. Um, shout out to Shumath. Hey, there we go, Shumath. Big time game in the desert today with uh, San Jose State and UNLV. The winner will be playing in the Mountain West Championship, and I believe isn't there a path for the loser to essentially get there too? I forget. Well, no, because Boise won yesterday. I think. Yeah, I think if UNLV wins, it's UNLV Boise. If San Jose State wins. I forget. I feel. I feel like if San Jose State wins. I think it's San Jose State UNLV again. If memory serves me correct. Um. Anyway, moving forward. Uh, UAB North Texas. Who's not betting on this one? Give me North Texas. UAB's defense been fucking terrible. Let's go. Three leg dog parlay. I like this one. I like this one here. We did the round robin. If you haven't heard the round robin, rewind it. But uh, I will put the dogs or the Florida Gators 
Florida Gators, the Georgia Southern Eagles, Arizona State Sun Devils. Three that I like. Now you can if those are two, if there's one you don't like, I would say Northwestern is live in Champaign. Who else do I think is live to win as a outright dog? Obviously, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if Ohio State won because I feel like that game is like one play away. Um, you know, it wouldn't shock me if Ohio State won that game. That game's a ridiculous rivalry. So obviously, you could play that too. I mean, I you want to get crazy? I I I, I kind of wouldn't be shocked if uh, if you know Washington State or Auburn just because of the history in those games. How about NC State? At home, I think they're live. That's only like a three-point spread, though. I wouldn't be shocked if Cal put it on UCLA. Let's say put it on; they would just win. I don't think they're going to blow them out. Um, other live dogs that I like, maybe Nevada gives Wyoming a game. I don't understand the motivational side for Wyoming and Nevada. This is like their bowl game. Go beat a decent football team. You move forward to next year. I think Wyoming's already eliminated from playing in the Mountain West Championship. Maybe I'm trying to talk myself into that one. Uh, Texas State against South Alabama. I think they're live. And I kind of think those are the real plays I like. I mean, with value, you got to find something with value there. Maybe ULM, Louisiana. That one, I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, Cause Louisiana has been underachieving and I think ULM's better than their record. Uh, so I would say those mainly jump out to me. Sam Houston States, another one that I think could win. And I won't even exclude the Houston Cougars just because UCF Houston. I feel like, I mean, I've, I, I, I think UCF's probably going to win the game, but if the right Houston team shows up, they can really fucking move the ball against UCF. They're just a fucking weird team though. And Pitt, Pitt against Duke. I don't know if that answers your question, but uh, yeah, Gator nation 2.0 saying the best dog, Florida, Arizona state. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think if I had to do my three team dog parlay right now, and I'll even put this in, let's ride Florida, Arizona state. And I'm going to put Georgia Southern in there. App state just had a huge win. I think they could get it done, but that's 10 points. Maybe you want to go with a shorter dog. If you want to go with a shorter dog, let's go. If you go with the shorter, the shorter dog, maybe uh see, but NC state, that game's crazy. I have no idea who's going to win that game. Um, let's go. Let's go pit. Pit plus 175. Narduzzi's never lost to Duke in his career. Let's go. Let's do that, folks. Folks, that's our show. Appreciate the chat rocket with us all 100. Please, if you can, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be back tonight with the reaction show with Patty C. And I'll also be back tonight with Moneyline Mac and Noah. Well, no, not Noah should be hammered. I'll be back tonight with Moneyline Mac talking college hoops. Don't forget, we have a, a ton of uh, college basketball games going too. It's a great time of year. Uh, thanks again to everyone in the chat. Shout out to Nathan Haynes. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remembered. I remember Richard Gersberger. I remember that. I feel like that's the, when we were doing The Sims. That's when I, I became common with your name. Shout out to Dick Gersberger. Folks. You guys are all awesome. Let's go enjoy an awesome Saturday. Take it in because next year the conferences are all going to be fucking insane. You know, you're going to have the, the season ending with like Oregon and Rutgers. TV execs want it this way. I don't know. Appreciate what you got today because it ain't going to be the same tomorrow. Folks, uh, this is the college football experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. We can be the right shoes And the whole team's kicking And the whole world's looking with the gamblers Rotten shoes We can be the right shoes And you know what you're getting Cause the books we've written with the gamblers